they're going to look back to Bow Valley, I think, and think that that's the house that Sharon Carey built. It's crazy, the stuff that she's done that just, like, it's just like, oh yeah, well, of course that's what she did. Like, of course she's been a president for 20 years, and of course she was given a Blackfoot name and headdress and made an honorary chief. I've worked with a lot of leaders in my time. She is special. She's very committed to education and to social justice. She's focused, she gets the job done, and she works hard at it. People look to her to say, how, how did you do this? Because often presidents today don't last for this amount of time, or they come and go. But here she stood the test of time many times over. Sharon is the heart of Bow Valley College, and, and she has been the beating drum of it. Well, she's a nice person to boot. You know, she, she really is. wonderful parents. My uh, father spent uh, 20 years in retail, in leadership roles. My mother was an educator. She taught for 35 years. I'm the uh, only girl and the eldest of six. My poor little brothers had to endure me teaching them school. We would have the whole uh, attic set up uh, as a schoolhouse. I think I was a strict teacher. <laughs> They didn't always enjoy that because they were getting enough school in the daytime. <laughs> oh, I loved university. I was a very well-dressed, hippie, radical student leader. <laughs> My uh, peers would say, well, you uh, maybe dress differently, but you're always pushing boundaries and looking to innovate and make change. It took me a while to get my first degree. I had accumulated a lot of different things that I was interested in. Archaeology, sociology, political science. And I went to apply and I said, what am I qualified for? And they said, well, that whole list we just gave you. And I said, well, could you find out which one no woman has graduated from at the University of Calgary? And eventually they came back and said, no woman has graduated from political science. So I said, I'll take that one. I moved to Bow Valley somewhat reluctantly. Well, 20 years ago, we were a very small, provincially administered institution. And literally, in those days, you used a fax. <laughs> we didn't have the computer. <laughs> About five minutes before the competition closed for the presidency, I stood at the facts and went, do I want to do this or not, and hit send. She had a uh, kind of a centeredness about her. Straightforward, looks you straight in the eye. They had 300 applicants and 30 of them were already serving presidents, and they chose me, which surprised me when I learned that. And now we are the largest comprehensive community college in Alberta. Under Sharon's leadership, we've quadrupled enrollment. Uh, we have been able to build a wonderful new facility. The whole idea of lifelong learning and the betterment of individuals to be able to support families and be part of the Canadian society and be a full participant has always been her main thing. Whenever Sharon, and I've seen her do this, has to make a, a difficult decision or be part of a difficult decision, she always puts the student in the middle of that decision. I met Bill Dixon in residence. Then we went off in different directions. But I thought of him subconsciously every single day. And 30 years later, we reconnected and got married. And that's been a very rich and interesting 15-year part of my life. Uh, sadly, he passed away. But I'm surrounded by his art. I feel like he never left. I'm an only child and she was a single mom, so it was just the two of us my whole life, so we're really tight. We have family recipes that we pass down from generation to generation. My grandma's favorite Christmas cookies are made with things like dates and flour and sugar, and you have to roll them and roll them in sugar and they burn your hands. They're really hot, so you kind of want to sing or you're going to swear. And so she would put on Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton's Christmas album and just like sing along to it while making Christmas cookies. But don't ask her to sing either because she's not that good. <sighs> Are you serious? 
I've always had a special spot in my heart for Cher, and I think they're going to miss her big time. It will be a big change for me to get used to a new boss after 20 years. She's not going to not sit at home all day, I'll tell you that. She won't be forgotten, that's for certain. Yeah! Where's your baby? Right here. Baby! Baby! She's got a bunny baby. <laughs> well, she loves her work, but she also loves to spend time with her family, especially my daughter. She just, like, Shiloh walks in the room and her eyes just light up. Oh, Papa is on your tummy. It's really nice to see how much my mom loves my daughter. Yeah, they're super cute. They just like, give me a second. I'm her biggest fan. I can't even think about it. I'm so proud of everything that she's done. To me, it's important to have a very long-term view on how you're impacting your community and what, you're, what footprint you're leaving on Earth. I have kept on my desk for years and years, sun faded, this expression. It's an Aboriginal piece of wisdom. We have not inherited the Earth from our ancestors. We're borrowing it from our children. And I think those are words to live by.